Casey, the host of Inside the Studio. Thank you for joining our show. If you're new to the program, we review recording studios to help you find the best deal for your buck. For our newbies, each studio is ranked by three categories, rates, equipment, and user reviews. The top 100 studios are placed on our list of the top 100. You can review our list at CheapStudioTime.com or download our Android app, Studio Finder. If you want your studio aired, go to CheapStudioTime.com and click the link labeled My Review. Today we will be reviewing the Nuthouse Studio located in Alabama. My name is Jimmy Nutt. I'm an engineer, recording engineer, producer, and a local studio owner. A uh, guy named James LeBlanc, who's a, a local um, songwriter, great, great talent. He and I grew up together in Shreveport, Louisiana. Um, started playing in bands when we were 12 years old. So I'd never, I didn't know anything about Muscle Shells growing up. Um, you know, I heard the, heard the Leonard Skinner song, but that was about it. James ended up getting a, a publishing deal at Fame, a songwriting deal. And uh, we were living, I was living in Austin, Texas at the time. So we came over and visited a couple of times and just fell in love with the place and just was enamored with the studios and, and the history that I started learning about. So we came over, had dinner with Rodney Hall, and um, I basically said, you know, if I picked up my family and moved to Muscle Shoals, um, you know, can I learn in the studio? Can I work and learn? And he said, yeah, I can't guarantee you any money or any job, but you can come here and, and work and learn. And so somehow that was enough for me. Then they hired me as a part-time employee. They saw, you know, how serious I was about it and how much I wanted to be a part of what they were doing. The staff engineer at the time was Don Trigley, and uh, he had been here for a long time, and he was just kind of looking for a change and, and wanted to do something different. And so I happened to be the guy that was here that had proven that I wanted to work. And um, so they hired me as a full-time staff engineer, um, mainly for their publishing company, did songwriting demos for, for all the writers. And, and um, I was here for about, about three years at Fame and just really learned so much so fast and worked with some great artists and, and great songwriters and engineers, so that's, that's how I got here. My, my desire was to own my own studio, to own my own building, to have my own place. And so, um, I, you know, I, I, that was my strongest desire. So went back out on my own this time and um, leased a space in downtown Sheffield. And um, that's where I started the Nut House recording studio and finally found found the building that I'm in now, uh, which is an old bank building that was built in um, the 50s, early 50s, and uh, bought the bank building and remodeled it and, and put my studio in, and I've been there for about five and a half years. You know, it's really interesting. It's kind of a peculiar industry because I would say almost 100% of my business has been word of mouth, and it's just been a slow growth of you know, you do this album, you do a good job for somebody, someone else hears it, they like it, and, and, and so it's just really built upon itself that way. I have done little or no advertising. Um, you drive by my studio in downtown Sheffield, there's no sign outside at all. You don't even know it's a studio. I, I'm not really one that's looking for the next big thing or a big hit. I'm really, you know, I love artistic integrity and, and you know, making music that means something, you know. That's kind of what I look for. There's lots of talent here. There's lots of talent in the shows. I, I've been amazed over the years when I think I kind of know all the singers, songwriters, when I know all the bands, know all the players, you know, something else pops up and I'm like, wow, I didn't even know these people were here, you know, and it's a cool group uh, doing something different, you know, and... Um, so there seems to be kind of an endless well of, of you know, young people coming up through the ranks and, and um, you know, knowing the history and learning from that, but taking it and doing their own thing with it. And, and so there's, there's, there's quite, quite a bit of talent in this area. We've had a lot of uh, uh, folks coming over from overseas, you know, Europeans and, and um, visiting and working, you know, and they really know the history. They really know about this place and know know the players, know David Hood, know Spooner Oldham, know Roger Hawkins, Jimmy Johnson. I mean, they know 
what records they played on and, you know, know that, you know, Dwayne Allman played on John Hammond's record from 1968, you know, that was cut here. I mean, they, they know that stuff. You know, Jason Isbell and Shauna Tucker and Scott Boyer the third, and all these people would jam and hang out. And, and everybody kind of saw that Jason had some talent, you know. So Rodney signed him as a as a songwriter to the publishing company. So periodically, Jason would come in and with his acoustic guitar, just Jason and an acoustic guitar, and he would go out there, and I would mic him up and record him, and he would play everything that he had written in the past three weeks or a month or whatever. And I was just blown away. I mean, I felt like I was witnessing like a modern-day Bob Dylan. You know, I mean, it just really, I would just... Just to, that's one of the coolest things about my job to sit here and hear songs come through the speakers for the first time and, and know that, you know, you're hearing something before anybody else does. And it's really cool and magical. To me, the Muscle Shoals sound is not a specific genre. It's always been about the people to me, the people that made the music then and the people that make the music today. I mean, that's what it's about. And so that's what makes the Muscle Shoals sound. Thank you, Jimmy. As you can see, the Nuthouse has good equipment for recording and mastering hits. The hourly rates are within reason, and friendly staff make recording a breeze. You can book studio time by going to www.thenuthouse.com. Well, that's our show. We will be back next week with more studios to review. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, Casey. Good night. <laughs>